Hello, this is Avival Garber, and today we're taking a look at the Albatross. This is a budget knife. It's got a lot of interesting features for a budget knife, but it is still a very budget knife. The name of the company is Albatross. The part number is FK036SC-GN. Apparently this is green. Um, to me it looks yellow, but what do I know? I mean, I suppose in the shade it's kind of green. Um, but here we go. Let's talk about some of the features here. Um, we got a pocket clip that is reversible. So, and it sits um, point up. So, just as a warning there. It has an access lock, which is what you normally find on some of the higher end knives, like a Benchmade or Spyderco or, well, even Boker, a lot of other people. It's also a flipper. And... It works pretty well, so but it, it's a hell of a lot easier to use the access lock. So not coming out. Just gravity alone will just pulling back on the lock itself. This piece I can't do it with one finger. Will allow it to close. So you could do that all day long. It is quite sharp, um, so I'm going to try to continue to keep my fingers away because. Um, Got one of my fingers earlier today. That one. Um, fiddling with it, so that's my fault. Um, it has a oval shaped thumb hole, and it's interesting. A uh, few people in the short complain that it may be difficult to open or crappy that way. It opens just fine with it. With almost every finger. I and mean, this one I just cut, so that's a little hard to open at the moment, but from underneath, middle finger. Ring finger, pinky. Pinky again, ring finger, middle finger. And of course my index is gonna be hard because of the way I'm holding the knife. But it is doable. So if it's that easy that way, you know it'll be easy left-handed too. You just may have to change the uh, clip over. Does the access lock work on this side? Yeah, it does. Don't see why it would either way. It's uncomfortable for me to do it that way with the with my left hand with this in the way. I can't get a good grip on the access lock and I do not want to leave my fingers in the way. Um, you'll notice that there is a little bit of a clinky noise. And I think that's the access lock itself. It does have ball bearings um, on the center there. So the pivot's nice and smooth for the most part. I'm so used to a liner lock. That's what I've been looking for. I prefer liner locks. But this is actually not that bad. The handle on this is textured. It's a um, fiberglass reinforced nylon. And I don't know if you can see the texture. It's kind of like little half circles. It's, uh, it's strange. It's smooth, but grippy at the same time. It's, 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 it's weird, but it's not bad at, at, by any means. Um, sorry, I keep hitting the camera, but the camera's in the way for what I need to see. The blade is center, so that's a nice feature. The blade length, by the way, is three inches. Uh, total length is seven and a quarter inches. It weighs three point three pounds. Um, that's about where all the good stuff ends. The blade material, the steel for the blade, is a well. They're not sure. When I check the item listing on it, it gives two different kinds of steels. Don't know what kind it is. Um, for the price, I'm going to think it's the lesser grade because it is a real budget blade considering you have a lot of nicer features. Um, and of course it's skeletonized, so it makes it even lighter. So the blade material is listed as a 3CR13MOV. It's not a bad steel, but and there's a lot better out there. It is a cheap material. Um, however, if you go by the pictures, it's an 8CR14 MOV, which is still a cheap one. I would think better than the, than the 3, but uh, at least in my experience it is. Um, so, yeah, there's that. We're not quite sure what the material is. Um, but this has got to be the cheapest access lock knife I've ever seen, uh, or owned for that matter, because I have some access locks that are two, $300, $300. Um, so for what it is, 
I don't mind using and abusing this and not have to worry about it breaking because it's cheap enough to replace. Um, so this is the, what they call it green, but green with the satin blade. These come in a whole slew of colors um, and blade types, uh, blade finishes. Um, so you have this one that they consider F green and satin. There's black and uh, black stonewash. There's blue and black stonewash, yellow or this color, black stonewash, pink. Black stone wash, black and satin, baby blue and satin, pink and satin, and then they have black, blue, pink, and green, or yellow, whatever you want to call it, with a Damascus blade, or Damascus styled blade, um, about double the price of what this model is. Um, I don't know if it's really Damascus or if it's just etched, like coffee etch, but um, yeah. So for what it's worth, if you want a cool, lightweight blade that's got some higher end features on it, and it's easy to operate in both hands, come take a look at the Albatross. Uh, link in the description to where you can find it on Amazon. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will answer them as soon as I can. Uh, I have asked the question, uh, I have sent a message to the company about what kind of material, this, what kind of steel it is, and as soon as I find out, I will upgrade the title and the description appropriately. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, again, questions or comments, leave them below. Uh, please like if you like the video. Please subscribe. It's important to me. It tells me what you guys really want to see uh, so I can keep taking care of that because not everybody reads the community posts. Um, also take a look at the community posts. There's a couple of um, uh, there's a couple of interesting posts in there. Uh, a couple of polls. What did everybody like to see? A possibility of a... Um, a giveaway if I hit a thousand subscribers, things of that nature. So take a look. So thank you for watching and have a glorious night.